When everybody else says they're failures, they're going to get pregnant, they're going to be in, uh, infected with HIV, STDs, and all these other different stigmas that they place on them, yet I call them queens. Kids will be what you call them. program my certificate I got from there we got flowers tiaras and I love it I love Jay Barnett too I would like to thank coach on Barnett for coming um to Provision Academy because it wasn't just a program it was more like of us expressing ourselves getting to know each other and it also brought some of the girls more closer together he introduced us to like more people like he told us how to carry ourselves in certain ways so I really enjoy his interest in coming and teaching us how to carry ourselves in young ladies so proud of them that they participate in the WEAVE project because it teaches them how to be young ladies. Uh, us as mothers, we can do it with a father figure, it always helps. You know, that father is absent in their life, but then Mr. J is really a positive role model for them. And I am so happy that they were under him and proud of Mr. J and hope that he continue doing what God has ordered him to do. So for me, being creative was not attractive. Being a lady today is not attractive. It's about being a bad chick. Being a woman of excellence is not attractive. It's about the chick with the biggest butt. If anybody know me, I'm a speaker that I'm very transparent. This is what is attractive to them. It's not attractive for them to go to school and be teachers and become lawyers and become doctors. What's attractive to them is who dancing at the ladies strip club. When, when I've gone to schools and girls would rather become dancers than become teachers and become lawyers, we have a problem. Let me tell you, this was a beautiful, amazing night. What he does with this program is he encourages young men and young women, men of excellence, the Me Project, women of excellence, the We Project. He encourages them and lets them know that we are all kings and queens. Because if it don't cost nothing, it don't mean nothing. You know why Bentley don't have no commercials? Because they know they battle. We don't have to advertise. When you know you're a real queen, you ain't got to market and advertise. The king can come find you. That's what I like about Jay. He lets us know we don't have to attack each other. We can actually be the shoulder to lean on because one day we might be down, one day she might be down. And if none of us is holding each other down, then I guess we all gonna fall. So that's the good thing about it. He lets us know if you're a queen, you're gonna respect each other. You're gonna help each other. That's what queens do. I'm just grateful to be here tonight to witness uh, the power that he have instilled in these beautiful young queens. Keep up the good work, brother. Love you. But I knew when I got this vision that if a man can come in and lay a solid foundation, it can help these young ladies navigate through this thing called life. Because life will be what you make it. Like every girl needs a man role model and not everyone has one so that's why this will be good for other schools because sometimes we all don't know that um, what's going on with people's lives and stuff like that and for somebody to just come to the school that really helps a lot of girls who didn't have nobody well I just want to say thank you to Mr. J and for coming out and teaching us girls to respect ourselves love ourselves and get to know ourselves who we are truly I really appreciate that and I enjoyed his time and I just want to say thank you Mr. J